Hello everybody and welcome to a new series here on the campaign of France with me, Farmer Willie B. So what are we doing here in France? Well, this is a collaboration series with a good friend of mine, Rusty Money Gaming. Uh, it's kind of a story driven series and there's going to be, yeah, there's going to be a lot going on and I am really looking forward to this one. So, yes, I am Farmer Willie B, and I own the John Deere Workshop. As some of you may have heard Rusty Money Gaming mention, Willie's Toe and Go, that is me. So I have the shop here, it's the workshop which people can come and use or leave their vehicles with me, and uh, also a parts shop. So I was approached by Farm Sim Snowy and told that Rusty Money would be coming here to France because the Black Sheep Dairy and Stables has actually been on the market. So it was going to be sold and it was actually going to be demolished but I was informed that Rusty had actually bought the place and he's going to save the place from potential demo uh, demolition. So he, Snowy had asked me if uh, I would help Rusty along in his uh, quest to save Black Sheep Modding's dairy and stables. So I said, of course, of course. I also had Looney Farm Guy come up to me and he has informed me that he will be advising Rusty on equipment and any parts he will require and then I would order those parts for him and yeah so we have got a good start going here. So it would be just a case of waiting for Rusty to turn up at the Black Sheep Modding Dairy and Stables. Also, Rabbit Rob, he appeared the other day and asked me to put a magazine down here for Rusty Money to pick up. I can't imagine why, but uh, yeah, I'm sure there'll be a reason for that. So... We'll have a look round the yard here at the shop. Oh, I also own a f my own farm as well, so I will be doing my farm work as well for you guys. So we've got the the uh, Libra 622 here, and that is for Rusty to use, uh, is uh, for whatever he needs to use it for, and also the bag handler. I have got this my own truck right here and this is a little thing I've been working on fixing this up not sure if I'm gonna use it for my own farm or sell it yet I'm not sure so we have got a couple of things to do I've already been down to Black Sheep Modding's uh, dairy and stables and I've already dropped off a mower that loony farm guy asked me to drop off so I've got to go and drop off something else which I, I found quite odd um, but it's all been fixed up and ready to go and yeah you could probably see it appearing here and I've got the old tow truck here just in case someone breaks down so I've got to go and drop this off down to the dairy and stables so we're going to go and do that right now this can't be a bit slow on the loading but we'll get that loaded up and then we'll take that over 
So, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what Rusty is going to do at the Darien Stables. Hopefully he has a plan as to what he is, his intentions are. From what I can gather is once he's done saving the stables, he's going to make his way up to where the main farm is. Um, it's uh, up on the market as well. So hopefully he takes over that. Right, we are going to go and drop this off down at the Darien Stables. So I shall go and drop this off and I will uh, see you guys all down there. Right, welcome back everybody. We are here at Black Sheep Modding Dairy and Stables. So I've been instructed to drop this off inside the cow barn. So that is exactly what we are going to do. So what we'll do is just turn around. <clears throat> Everything seems to all be in place at the moment take a wee wander around. I'll show you the mower I've dropped off, which is in this shed here. Was it that one? No, it wasn't in that shed. Where did I drop it off now? I know I dropped it off somewhere. I was sure I dropped it off. Or did I forget to drop it off and needed to drop it off? I think I actually forgot to drop it off. Yes, I did. Right, okay, so that was the mower I need to drop off. So I'll get that dropped off another time. Uh, this here is Dusty's crib. I uh, was instructed to put the name on it so that uh, Rusty knew where Dusty was going to be going. So we are going to start this up and get this in the cow barn. We're instructed to put it in the corner, so... We shall go and do that. Right. Let's go and tuck this into the corner here. Oh. There we go. Should be all right there. Yeah, perfect. We'll get this loaded back up. So I hope you'll all enjoy this uh, new series here on Campaign of France. Hopefully, Rusty manages to shave, to, to shave, to save black sheep modding dairy and stables. And hopefully move on to taking on a bigger challenge with the, the main farm at the top, which we can go up and have a look at, actually. We'll go up and have a look at the main farm. how to get to the main farm. The campaign of France. France, it's it's a very small and... We could take a wee trip round. Let's just go for a trip. It's a very small, um, small town, so a lot of tight corners and areas like that. So it's kind of difficult for someone like me with a tow company to actually get round and about, but I get there. I get there. It's a very, very beautiful place to come and visit, and a very beautiful place to be 
to be honest. We've got the biogas plant coming up. Take a, we'll take a right here. And, oh, oh, we should be coming up to the farm soon anyway. And then we can have a look at that and see exactly what Rusty is hoping to achieve in his stay here at, in France. So this must be the this must be the small dairy. And we also have another product buying point. It's a nice large yard here as well. It's really, really nice. Plenty to go on here. Plenty to go on. It's the cow barn. Obviously, the place is up for sale, so we can't actually access very much of it. But it's quite a large cow barn, too. It's a pretty large cow barn. Right, okay. There's plenty of shed space as well, so that's always handy for him. Right, better get back up to the shop, just in case Rusty's been... I told him if I wasn't there just to have a look around and see what's what. So I'm going to get back to the back to my uh, shop, and then we'll go and have a look at. And then I'll show you my farmyard. So I'll see you in a little bit. Right here we are back at the shop go and get this parked up and we'll have a check see if anybody's been park the truck back up here at the side of the shop perfect right let's have a ah okay the someone rusty might have been here because the magazine's gone well, i hope it was rusty that picked up the magazine right so rusty must have been on his way having a wee a wee tour of the place before stepping into the stables and uh, dairy right let's hop into my vehicle and we'll go down and see my farm It's a nice truck and it takes off quite quickly. Right. We'll head down to my farmyard and we'll see what's going on there. One of my colleagues will look after the shop and that while I'm gone. Right, so this is my farmyard. I've got a little John Deere. Ironic, owning the John Deere workshop. Uh, got myself a cedar here because we've got a field that needs seeding. And the uh, chisel plow. That's pretty much all I've got at the moment. Um, settings I'm running on. Uh, running on hard economy. 
uh, time scale of five. Uh, that would probably change. I could change that up and down. Seasonal growth, yes. Running one day seasons. Everything is on. Dirt is on fast. Fuel usage on normal, and no workers refilling anything. So, what we need to do is I need to put the seeds down somewhere. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, we could probably put them down here at the back of this. I think I can. Although this is a collaboration series, we won't, Rusty and myself will not be running the exact same scenario. So he is doing hardcore survival, uh, which will require no liftable mods or anything. I'm obviously not doing that, so I'm running the uh, liftable mods and stuff like that, so. Right, let's get the cedar attached and see if we can actually <laughs> seed this. It's quite a steep, that is quite a steep slope. I'm thinking I might actually just put a, another field in at the bottom there and put that and just cover that up. I wonder if I can do that actually. We might actually put another field in. I do not like how that is shaped. a small field in at the bottom here if this yeah will allow me to do it some of the the plows don't allow you to create fields this one does thankfully so i'm not sure where my borderline is i think it's the trees here could probably start here i think yeah, right. Okay, we'll put a small field in here. It's not going to be massive. So I'd like to try and keep some of this grass area for other things as well. I think I'll run along the top here. Kind of make it similar to the same size as that, but I would just swing around here. The only thing with this plow is when you swing around, it leaves big, huge cuts in the the ground. It's not as uh, efficient as the uh, the lizard plow, that's for sure. As I want to try not to go too close to the the actual roadway, I would like to leave a bit of a gap. But if it doesn't work out like that, then it is what it is. Yeah, that'll be all right. A nice we a nice small size to start. I'm gonna try running this as realistic as possible as I possibly can be I don't want to be using like fast farming and stuff, so hence the reason why I've kept the field stones on. I'd like to kind of do all the work that's necessary to the fields. They are small fields after all, they're not massive, massive fields. Some of them are quite big, but easily manageable. And we can get this all ploughed up and we'll get it seeded. Obviously, I'm going to need to do lime and stuff like that. So 
and fertilize fertilize the fields as well but the good thing is as i say some of these fields are not so big that we'll get away with smaller equipment which is what i prefer to start with it's what i prefer to use we'll try and get to owning a majority of the the field on the map here which would be good so it's kind of kind of like a I'm sort of building myself up from being uh, a car or tractor uh, parts dealer to becoming a, a farmer myself so we'll have to see how that goes Obviously, I've got people that look after the shop, so I'm not too worried about having to be at the shop all the time. I've, uh, you know, I've been told that if Rusty comes to the shop and I'm not there, then he can just help himself to anything he needs. If he needs his vehicles repaired, there'll be someone there at the workshop anyway. If he needs parts, then... Obviously, Looney Farm Guy will, inf will inform him of the parts he needs um, or equipment that is best suited for him. And then, as I say, hopefully, uh, hopefully, Black Sheep uh, Dairies and Stables takes off again and becomes a thriving, a thriving area. Right, okay. So I will change that field, but I'll do that off off camera. I'm not happy with the slope on that, but I mean, that's pretty much similar size, I would say. Right, we get the seeds or the cedar in, get the seeds in, and then I'm going to try and pretty much keep it John Deere um, keep it John Deere based my equipment and stuff so right what are we allowed to plant at this time of the year uh, we can plant canola or alfalfa Oil seed, radish, grass, and poplar. So we're going to go for canola. And away we go. Getting canola seeds in. So I'd really like to, myself, on this grass area, I'd really like to have a big chicken farm going. That would be what I would be wanting to go for. I've got the small chicken coop over there by the, the house, so I'd like to try and get uh, a larger sort of barn area where I can produce a lot more eggs. Be like a car mechanic egg farmer poultry farmer so yeah that's my that's my go-to plan for for this uh, that's not my ultimate goal for the series obviously but we have to when we're doing a collaboration we usually have to build each other's farms so we have two different game saves each one for our own gameplay and one for swapping into the other one's gameplay no, it's not uh, not the most it's not tedious or anything it's actually quite simple quite plain and straightforward so it's not a big problem. 
the biggest issue that you have is when you forget what the other person has bought equipment wise and you have to rewatch the the whole the, pretty much the whole video to remember exactly what's going on if you don't pick it up the first time so yeah I, I hope you'll enjoy following along with this series it's going to be it's going to be interesting it was really interesting back on FS19 when we did it so yeah it was it was good fun really good fun and I'm really looking forward to working with them again another collaboration series and see how it goes if they turn out really well and uh, become popular then it could definitely be something we could think about doing more often in amongst uh, doing when Rusty's doing his live streams and other gameplays so they probably won't release as fast as maybe the you know his own content so which would give us a good opportunity to set up catch up and plan what we're going to be doing for the next one right we're almost finished receding this field I don't want to be buying chickens for myself until I've got a crop for doing uh, to feed them. I'd like to try and make sure that I'm able to feed them myself rather than go and buy the the stuff at the the shop. Which you know it, it's not a, a big deal, but I'd rather try and be more self-sufficient. make it more make it more challenging now even you know with seasons on so it's going to be interesting missing a couple of bits there Get this last little bit done here and then so let me end up having a look at the the contracts myself uh, to try and get some extra cash in perfect right okay that's that done let's go and put this back in the shed and We'll have a look to see what sort of contracts we're looking at and then I'll show you what my idea is for the, the chickens. Might need to do something with this bit of land here because that is quite bumpy. Don't know why it's like that. Don't know why it's done that. Right. Drop the tractor there. So contracts, what are we looking at for contracts here? We've got baling contracts, fertilizing contracts, plowing contracts. There is a fair few contracts that we can take on, which is good. As I say, I've got my own small chicken coop here, so I don't want to be uh, buying the chickens until I've got the feed for them. There is a field next to here, which not sure what's in that. We'll have a look. Wow, that train is very noisy. Uh, yeah, oats. So. Right, we'll head back up to the shop. I'm going to have to think about what we need to do with that fields or my field. Perfect. Right, 
back at the shop now. Right. Now. Let's have... Let's have a look at the field situation, which is this one. Right, so we've got small stones in there. Uh, needs rolling. It'll be needing fertilizing, so it needs rolling. Anything else it needs? There shouldn't be any weeds. Not fertilized yet. Not fertilized yet. And needs lime. So it needs limed, rolled, and fertilized. Right, okay. So we need to think about uh, the liming and rolling. We do have massive, massive, ma I say massive, but it's bigger than the uh, some of the rollers you can get. Uh, do, 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 do. So I think this one here does multiple grass field mulcher. I don't think that one does it. No, it doesn't, right. So it's like a three in one. And for fertilizer spreaders, I'm hoping that maybe some point down the line I'll be able to own um, some cows and it can get some manure or slurry to put on the field instead. So we've got this here. It's only four and a half grand. Fill that with fertilizer. Or there is that one at 700. <laughs> Don't know how long that would... Uh, so seven meter spread on it. It's not too bad, actually. Considering the size of it. Right. So I'm going to leave it here, guys. So, yeah. If you like what you've seen in the video, please consider leaving a like. And uh, consider subscribing if you're not subscribed yet. And also, uh, yeah, leave a comment in the comment section below. So, yeah, I hope you all have a very, very wonderful day. And until next time, bye for now.